This building has been rehabilitated by Grupo Planeta with the aim of adapting it to a new use, providing a new cultural facility to La Hospital. In its reconstruction, first quality and environmentally sustainable materials were used with state-of-the-art facilities, high energy efficiency and all its classrooms were equipped with the most advanced technology. The current building was built in 1982 and used to the hospital court. Judicial activity took place in this building from 1985 to 2008. When the building was handed over to Grupo Planeta to be converted into a training and innovation center, the Planeta Building program is based on 8,100 square meter of useful surface, distributed in a ground floor, three basements, one semi-basement, and seven floors that have various functions, whether they are classrooms, cafeterias, libraries, or large auditoriums. The main entrance is located on the ground floor, leading to the reception and the library, and the latter has an independent entrance. The distribution of the spaces is carried out through aluminium partition walls with laminated board doors to achieve privacy and give the areas personality. Under the rehabilitation, it was wanted to highlight parts of the existing structure, such as the concrete slab made with coverable coffers and concrete pillars. For this reason, there are areas where a space has been left without a full ceiling, in which we can see the old structure. In these areas, spun aluminium lamps has also been placed following the grid of the floors and painted in the same color. It should be noted that what stands out the most is the auditorium, which is a newly created space resulting from opening part of the slab to the old parking lot to place a ramp that joins the two floors, forming the seating area. They were also leaving the original structure of pillars, starting at one meter height with respect to the upper floor. Both the walls and the ceiling have been painted blue. In addition, a sound absorbing upper face ceiling grid has been created in white. Another important feature is that they have preserved the main staircase which is a sculptural piece of reinforced concrete. They have emphasized it through dimensions, through the placement of a 17 meter long lamp hanging from the roof. After their rehabilitation, this project filled all its objectives, welcoming more than 4,000 students and creating new facilities in a building that was originally in poor conditions and was adapted to new needs, still respecting some original structural characteristics. In addition, it became a landmark for modernity, not only in the neighborhood, but in the city. On the first floor, the cafeteria space is connected to the existing terrace and the main facade. On the other floors, there are mainly classrooms and workspaces for students. This facility building is located on a plot that shares a wall with a restaurant and residential urban plot, which was a clearly contrast in style and modernity. The other three facades are open to the street, while the shorter facade is at the intersection of both, with free space in front. In this area, there are many administrative and public buildings. The front facade has been covered with metallic skin that gives it technological air. Therefore, it is characterized by being able and open to the public. Its facades underwent cleaning and reinforcement work on the existing structure. All existing coatings were strategically painted in dark gray. This gives the building a new image and to hide the old main facade which was deteriorated. It is covered with models of micro perforated sheet metal in white. With this, the result was a facade with more contemporary appearance, thus being a new benchmark for the neighborhood. 